Hello guys, how's it going? Guys and gals, maybe. Uh, I don't know entirely who's watching. Um, I think this will be a really cool thing to do. Um, what I want to do here is uh, preface this. I'm going to do some role playing, or try to do some role playing. Um, I can do a bunch of different funny accents. Yeah, I can do some kind of redneck accent, you know, like I could do a British accent, you know, it just doesn't really matter. Um, I, I can, I can vary the scale in between, um, uh, comment below wh whether you won't want to hear some, somebody that's got a little, little twang in their voice, uh, driving the truck down the road now. Now, it seems here that along this exit, there, there might be some, uh, Somebody told me there's some chickens that like to run out in the middle of the road. You know, things like that. Um, I can do a bunch of different accents. Uh, I could do other Russian. I could do an Irish accent if you'd like that. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure, a bunch of people would probably get offended. Um, I'm not trying to offend people. Uh, if you like it, you like it. Let me know. Um, uh, let's see, what else can I do? I could do a Russian accent, you know, I could do this Russian, Russian thing with Chernobyl, you know, there's no telling what could happen with the Russian accent, you know, there's so many different ways I could go with this, um, and, uh, you know, what I want to do might be completely different than what you want to see or hear, so the more suggestions you guys can give me, the better, um, just take this with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But um, if you guys want to hear a particular accent, then please go ahead and uh, let me know what you want to hear, what you want to see. Um, I'm going to go on in my normal voice or try to um, make some sort of attempt to make this interesting. <laughs> um, as, as you all know from playing this game, it's it's a bit like watching paint dry. So uh, there there's also the possibility of once I get get the load started and get going down the road a little bit, if I run out of stuff to say for the majority of the trip, I could always um, do a time lapse, and I could just shut up and do a time lapse for. A few minutes and just cover several hundred miles without you know fast forward through several hundred miles which would probably save a whole lot of um, a, a whole lot of problems <laughs> uh, namely one for me uh, trying to come up with uh, ingenious things to say um, so I could fast forward through a whole bunch of road trip if I don't have anything to say I'll just fast forward and uh, I'll do a time lapse, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to make it as interesting as possible. Which making this game interesting could could be very challenging. Um, farming simulator game, uh, you know, there's so much to do and so much to kind of keep you going. Um, Dagger one uh, pretty much has it down pat, so I don't really have to. I'm not. I'm not even remotely going to try to compete with him on farming simulator. Um, I've tried to make farming simulator videos and the only ones that seem to be doing any good is uh, mod review videos so there's no point in me making a series of uh, actual like uh, let's play videos if uh, nobody's gonna watch them so um, probably the best thing for me to do here I would like to do kind of this as sort of a uh, a mod review because I've downloaded a whole bunch of different trucks for this so be on the lookout in the future for a whole lot of different uh, modded trucks I'm gonna be uh, probably driving as a company driver that just gets thrown around into a bunch of different trucks all the time so um, there's no telling what I'm gonna be driving at any given moment and I'm gonna try to keep it in interesting and keep the trucks different and in a sense, kind of do a, a a mod review on each different truck as I as I make the video. Um, 
there's so many different trucks and so many different configurations. I can only hope that the majority of them show up in the uh, quick job menu so that um, not only I get to experience a lot of these modded trucks, but you guys also get to see a lot of these modded trucks. Um, you know, maybe barreling down the road in the future, you know, if this series gets popular and there's more requests for it, maybe I could do like a more direct mod review video of each different truck and actually go through all the, you know, get on my uh, cheat profile with, you know, like uh, basically unlimited funds and uh, maxed out levels where everything's unlocked and go through each one of the mod trucks and go through all of the features and um, customization and different engines and transmissions and changeable parts and all the different stuff in all the mod trucks. Um, you know, if there's a request for uh, a mod review of a specific truck, I'll do that. That'd be, that'd be fine by me. Um, if you want to see it, I'll do it. Uh, just have to comment below and uh, let me know what you think. Um, but for right now, I'm going to try to start out this role play as uh, uh, the new guy. I am the new guy, the effing new guy. Uh, it's always going to be the effing new guy. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll go ahead and start the role play. Uh, the name is uh, Sergio, and uh, I just immigrated here from... Uh, Sergio sounds Italian, doesn't it? Italy. Anyway, my name is Sergio, and I just immigrated here from Italy. Um, I've been practicing English for many years, so my English accent is very good. Um, I don't know if I could fake an Italian accent. I've never really tried. <laughs> if you want me to give that a shot, go ahead and leave it in the comments. Um, so anyway, Sergio from Italy is uh, here, just got out of CDL school and signed on with a local company here in Denver, Colorado, I believe is where I started this at. So we're going to take our first, oh, we're rolling, rookie mistake, leaving it in neutral, letting it roll back. Oh, that's my horn. Okay. There we go. Now we got headlights. All right. So let's take this first load, very first load. And uh, ease on down the road. So anyway, I was talking with the guy at dispatch. And uh, he said that, uh, which was, this was not mentioned to me in my interview at all. Ah, turn signals. Uh, I'm using dash panel on my iPad. So if anybody wants to know about that, uh, just send me a comment below and I will make a video about it. I think I'll just sit here in the middle of the road and wait for traffic to go by. Are you going to stop for me, bud? Because that'd be awesome. There you go. Alright, here we go. We're getting run over. Yeah. We're getting run over. All right, let's get over here. Luckily, this truck has GPS on the dash because uh, the guy at dispatch was telling me there's a bunch of trucks that I'll probably wind up driving. A bunch of old stuff that uh, does not have GPS in them at all. Anyway, uh, 
So that wasn't mentioned in the interview. So I'm just going to have to figure it out as I go. Uh, in the interview, I asked if there's any way that I could possibly uh, upgrade later. You know, maybe there's a way that I could make more money. Because uh, right now, they're just paying me 68 bucks to drive this trailer across town. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not making a whole lot here. Um, I'm not going to make a whole lot. The economy's, you know, as you know, trucking, you, know, you drive for somebody else and you use their truck, they're not going to pay you a whole lot of money. So, uh, the interviewer guy, my boss, manager, um, I asked him, uh, well, how could I make more money? And he said, if I had my own truck, I could make more money. They'd pay me more if I had my own truck. And I said, well, how hard is that going to be to get? And he said, well, it depends on you, bud. And I said, like, oh, great, dude. I'm like, you're a peach. He said, no, it depends on you. Um, we might have a truck. You might find you a truck somewhere down the road somewhere at a decent price that you could afford to get. Um, you know, you could always get out a bank loan and buy you a truck. Nobody's coming. At some point in the future, I'm probably going to take out a loan and buy a truck. Uh, I have no idea what's available in the area. Like, I just got here, jumped off the plane, got on the CDL school, and uh, got out of CDL school and called this guy. He put an ad in the... Facebook group for this area. Oh, I ran a red light. See, I'm not used to... can hardly see the red light. Let's drop her down in a second. Another red light.
kind of close. Uh, bring it over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Roll it on back. Okay, so uh, I pulled that last load, and of, of course it was it was just literally right across town. So um, I talked to my dispatcher, and I said, "If there's anything else I can do right now," and he said, "Yeah, I got this other load, but you got to pull it with this really old truck." So here we're in this uh, auto car. I'm sure, y'all would want to see the outside of it pulling it with this old auto car DC um, so anyway that's 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 the truck that I'm driving and of course as you can imagine something this old is not going to have a, a GPS on the dash so the fun part is I've got to talk to my dispatcher and uh, get the phone number of the delivery place that I'm going and uh, get some directions so if you'll just bear with me let me call my dispatcher all right so uh, I got directions uh, all the way there um, I'm gonna get so far and then I'm gonna pull over and um, reread my directions and see how much further I need to go so right now we'll go ahead and start this thing up
about realistic. I've got a uh, an economy mod that uh, changes the prices of everything because I'd have to agree with a lot of people that uh, the uh, vanilla game payments for doing quick jobs like this to driving somebody else's truck instead of my own. Really, the uh, payment structure all the way across the board was just a little too much, a little too easy. So, uh, I got an economy mod to make it a little bit more difficult. And, uh, like right now, this load is only paying me like $305. So, it's, it's not much. Uh, I'm not making a whole lot of money. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging to build up and buy the, uh, the big customizable 389. Um, of course, I've got the SCS 389, but I've got the... I think I've got two different uh, fully customizable 389s. Oh, I'm drifting over. Looking at my speedometer, drifting over into the other lane. Speeding, excessively speeding. Oh no, the speed limit here is 75, so I'm not speeding yet. Uh, how am I getting this information? Um, I'm using the, uh, the dash panel app on my iPad. Um, you gotta have the, uh, the matching server.
see what roads I need to turn down on. But, uh, yeah, here's the auto car. Relatively no 
where I'm going. See if I don't get run over trying to pull out into the road here. Nope, I'm blocking that lane. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I got a green arrow. Okay, here we are. We got one skill point. I think really the best thing to do would be to get all the hazmats first. Let's just go ahead and knock out all the hazmat qualifications. We'll go with explosives. We'll start with explosives. We will apply. Check our emails and the bank. We can get loans, but I don't think there's going to be enough of a loan to actually do hardly anything with. Uh, no, not enough loan to do anything. I can borrow ten grand, but that's not going to help me. So anyway, um, I guess that concludes this episode. I got all the. What? I got all the uh, the in-game um, company logos as paint jobs for the trucks, for all the SCS trucks. So, and there's, that's that. And, uh. I could tease you. Look at this. A 352, 362. There's a little tease. A tease of some of the trucks that's available. The Max CHU 613 is another mod truck I've got. Since I'm only level 1, I don't have hardly anything unlocked. Or hardly any of the trucks. Oh, what is that? Classic XL. Who wants to see the classic XL? Mm -hmm. International HX520. Anybody interested in that? Nothing there. 
nothing there and that's the extent of all the unlocks um, stay tuned maybe uh, next video I'll go through the truck dealers and we'll look through the mod trucks and see what all we have available so uh, we'll shut her down there and look we only got seventeen hundred and thirteen dollars so uh, comment below what you want to see what you want me to say what you want me to do and uh, we will make a pretty good series out of this so we will catch you guys later bye bye